Good morning, everyone. How is it going? So, let me just start out by saying, just in case you're watching this on the replay, I'm wearing sunglasses because I didn't want to miss, miss, miss my Facebook Live and I need to wear my medicine in the morning and the night around my eyes. And, <laughs> Amanda, um, and while it doesn't really show that much, um, I'd prefer to wear them. These are my old sunglasses, so, and I might kneel in, like, to go in, um, to actually read things because I don't have my contacts on. So I'm, um, partially blind and trying to read, uh, Facebook Live comments. Anyway, so, again, I'm wearing sunglasses because I'm wearing medicine around my eyes, and it's clear the medicine, but it's, I'm unable to put on makeup. Um, and, and unable to put on concealer, and I don't want to be showing my dark under eyes um, <laughs> today during the Facebook Live. I love how you guys love my sunglasses on. <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't distract you guys, because I'm here to talk about business. Um, so today we're talking about websites, okay? Um, I had asked the group yesterday a question about what kind of type of questions do they have regarding websites, and as I suspe suspected, um, there were questions that I thought people were going to ask. So I'm actually going to pull them up um, and see. I look like a movie star? Thanks. This is really unexpected. <laughs> anyway, so, okay, let's see here. Again, I could barely, I could, I could see, um, I have to see myself, but I have to kneel in to read some of these comments. Um, <laughs> the top, you guys are making me blush. It's hilarious. Natasha says, I haven't caught you in, a, in ages, and here you are looking like a movie star. Um, that's nice of you guys, barely. If you, if you saw how I look like underneath, actually, I don't know if you can really see it, but it's like, um, it's clear, the ointment. I put it around my eyes. Um, I will tell you that I put it on while I'm loading my computer. I put it on last night, and I woke up this morning, and I was like, oh, my under eye, and let's knock on some, because somebody knock on wood, please. I don't have freaking real wood around here. My under eye looked better than most mornings. So I was like, what? Because my intention was to come, I was supposed to put my ointment on in the morning and night. My intention was to do my Facebook Live with makeup, right, normal, wipe it off, and then put my ointment on. But I was like, wait a minute, it looks a little bit better. I'm not going to mess with it. I'm not going to put makeup on and then irritate it by wiping it off. So I was like, you know what? I'm going makeup free for two weeks. And if I have to, I will put sunglasses on. Okay? Thank you. You guys are awesome. All right. So let me pull up the question. Here it is. I said, tomorrow's Facebook Live topic is websites. Uh, what are your questions and concerns about running, creating, maintaining, etc. your own website? So I have um, quite a few comments. And if you didn't comment there, that's fine. You can comment down below. I'm here to talk about um, as much as I can regarding websites. Um, this came to light because people were, well, not our group, I feel, but some people were freaked out over the new Etsy payments. And some people in other groups were like, I'm leaving Etsy or, you know... I can't wait to leave Etsy. And, and you know, granted, um, we don't want to all rely on Etsy. So it's not a bad thing to say, man, I really wish I could build a website off of Etsy. That's not a bad thing to say. Um, even if you want to leave Etsy, it's not a bad thing to say. But I hate when people are all talking. They don't have a plan of action, right? And I'm here to help you kind of, you know, plant the seeds to help you with that plan of action. Um, I'm not doing it to discourage you from starting on Etsy or going on Etsy. I, I'm doing it because I have my own website and several people that I know do, and it's important that you have it. I'm, my website's pretty successful, I would say. Um, I'm driving my own traffic to it. I'm getting organic traffic. Um, you, you know, it's a number of things I could talk about, and I want the same for you guys. I, I you know, I, what sucks about sunglasses, you can't see my facial expressions. I could be giving you guys a dirty look right now, but you can't tell. It sucks. So it's okay. Um, hopefully you could tell by my tone that I mean certain things more than other things, you know, my passion. So I really want the same thing for you guys. I want you to have, I'm, I'm serious, to have what I have. And I do my best to portray or help you realize how important a website is. Sometimes I think my message comes across better than other days, but here we are, okay? I'm glad this is today's topic, Erica says, because I need a kick in the pants of motivation. 
I'm glad too. And I'm going to be talking about some things that hopefully um, will really convince you. And guys, listen to this. I'm always honest with you guys, right? And that's, that's never an issue. Today I'm going to be super honest. Sometimes I hold back some things because I don't want you to think that I am, you know, being pushy or salesy or anything. I'm going to be completely honest. Meaning, I'm always honest, but I'm going to share more than I usually do, okay? Um, so, great question to start out with. Teresa says, what do you think about Etsy pattern? Um, let me just lay it out for you right now. If you're creating your own website because you are interested in having your own place to, um, to sell your items, your own place that you call your own, okay, then Etsy pattern is not for you. If you're interested in having um, a shop, it doesn't matter who owns it, that is um, that looks like your branding, that could that, that has some room to play around with for branding, then Etsy pattern can be for you. But most people want their own .com, not just to have their own branding, but to really own that spot, okay? To have less fees and and all these other things. So. Um, for that reason, and there's a few more reasons, obviously, but with that reason alone, I highly discourage Etsy pattern. And I hate to say that because a lot of things that Etsy do does is pretty okay with me, but you need your own spot. You need your spot. Even if you're like, Di, I'm just starting out. Don't bother Etsy pattern. Just starting out, then start out with just Etsy and Amazon or whatever you're doing. Okay. We're going to talk about certain platforms you could get on to start a website really easily. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. Love the shades. Thank you. Um, yes, Etsy pattern is still driven by Etsy, and while I don't mind that, if you just want a branded Etsy website, it's not what you want. You want your own website, your own branded website. Good morning. Okay. Am I giving you the side eye? No, not yet. <laughs> Depending on what you guys say. No, I'm kidding. Terry says she didn't post her question yesterday, but I'm, I'm a new seller on Etsy, and I have a dot .com. I'm scared to direct traffic to my own dot, my own site and not Etsy. For the reason, Etsy may come across as credible. Um, it's a nicer platform. Etsy looks more professional. Should I be worried? I love this question because this is a question that most people fear. This is a question that, be, well, because of this question, I'm going to be offering shop critique soon for your own dot .com. Because why is it that, okay, so I have my own dot .com, right? And my name is not so popular that if you run into something in the street and say, hey, have you bought from Modern Pink Paper? They're not going to say, yeah, you know, it's not that popular. But so I'm not as credible, right, as maybe these bigger stationary names. But why do people still buy from me? Even people that are on my email list, people that are coming from Google. I have a decent amount of Google organic sales, okay? Um, so they trust me. And it's all about, um, who is this, Terry? Let me see who just wrote that. Yeah, Terry. It's all about, um, hey, Joey, <laughs> do you know why I'm wearing sunglasses? I usually don't wear sunglasses during Facebook Lives, just FYI. Um, <laughs> so I, um, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> oh, what was the other question? Um, yeah, so you have to build your site and make it look credible. Um, I worked really, really hard on my website. And if you guys were around and following me back when I start, first started my website and back when it finished, it took me like almost a year and yes, it's a little extreme, but of course you have to remember that I'm also busy, you know, and, you know, and sometimes I take a while to respond to my web designer, etc. but it took a while because I needed to make sure things were in place to help me succeed and certain things make websites more trustworthy. And we're going to actually go over that um, in just a few short moments. So hang tight. Um, my pants also require kicking. <laughs> I'm glad you guys are on this call. A lot of people are actually on this call, so I'm very excited because it's a, it's a very hot topic. So let me start answering these questions here, and then I'll get into some deeper details. Having a website is something I've been thinking about for the past few months, but don't really know where to start. What would be a good website for a beginner? So this is where I love to begin, because most people are like, well, if they have a website, great, we'll get to that. But if you don't have a website and you're like, oh, I kind of, you know, I'm scared, I don't know where to start, whatever. Here is my, and there's no like, beating around the bush. Here's my professional recommendation. If you're new to life, if you're like a fetus, right? And you're like, I don't know what website to do. I don't know anything about websites. I'd highly recommend one of two options. One or two options. I recommend either Squarespace or Shopify. Now let me explain to you the differences that I know. There's probably a little bit more differences, but Squarespace is 
for me, much more simpler and much more user-friendly than Shopify. But Shopify is not hard, FYI. So, so that's number one. So if you really want to get, to get your feet wet, you're more than welcome to get a Squarespace site set up. And maybe down the road, after you start to drive traffic to it, do some things to it, blah, 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 then you're like, okay, I'm ready for Shopify. But it is cheaper than Shopify to start. So if you're really like on a budget, but you feel like a website's the way to go, then I'd recommend Squarespace. Um, another reason why is because the layouts that they have, you can't really mess up per se, in the sense that your website will probably most likely look attractive when um, you complete it. Now, yes, it does also depend on the fonts and the graphics you use, but when you're really brand new to life, you know, website life, I'd recommend Squarespace. The next thing, of course, is Shopify. A little bit more pricey, but it has a lot more tools. If I did not use WordPress, which is my third option I'll talk to you about in a second, I would definitely want the Shopify route because I'm a little bit more experienced, so I know kind of how to work around this, you know, a system. And I probably would have needed some apps or tools that Shopify um, offers that would help me in my business, that, help, that would help conversions better, okay? But it's not a bad thing to start out with Squarespace, okay? In fact, if you're out there saying, yep, that's me, I don't know where to start, etc., why don't you try Squarespace? They allow you to be free up until, I'm going to say 14 or 30 days. Forgive me as I don't know the exact number because um, I don't have the free version anymore. That's been a while. So I use it for my handmade mastermind website, okay? So that is my recommendation. My third recommendation is WordPress. If you are making money, right? If you're currently right now making money, and when I say making money, I mean making money. That's how I'm saying it. You can't see my eyes, but that's how I'm saying it. Similar to, let's say, a business that you feel like is a real business, that you feel like you use this money to support your family, that you, you know, like there's something that's really, like my, my business is a serious business. I'm making six figures, and you don't have to make six figures to obviously want a WordPress site, but just think about, in the context of what I'm saying, you want um, to build a WordPress site if you want less fees, because there are no transaction fees. I, it doesn't cost me anything to have this WordPress site. It does cost me for hosting, okay? It's not expensive to me. It costs me for hosting. It's like a few bucks a month or so. And I decided to have a certain payment processing system so you could obviously use, um, I think, um, Stripe. You guys know Stripe, right? I think it's Stripe. Stripe, if you put Stripe on, and it goes directly to your bank account, but if you put Stripe on your WordPress site, it is for free. But I choose PayPal. It's the exact same thing, but I pay $30 a month for that. Why? Because I get enough orders on my .com that I want, I like to print out my shipping labels from PayPal. It's a really easy option if you guys know. So that's why I pay $30 a month, but you don't have to. So with WordPress, there's a lot less fees. There's no monthly payments. You know what I'm saying? So let me continue. Olivia, there has been a lot of talk about Shopify. It seems very user-friendly. Yeah, I would say the middle ground thing, like if you're kind of like, I'm kind of experienced. I kind of know what I'm doing. You know, um, I have some a little bit of money to spend. Not too much, but a little bit of money to spend. That would be the route. WordPress is very hard for you to build on your own. Um, you can, there's all these tutorials out there, but I'd highly recommend hiring somebody. Um, a question was asked yesterday, since we're on this topic, um, how about hiring somebody to help you maintain the website? Guys, I told you before, I'll tell you again. When I have somebody to recommend, I will recommend them and shout their name off the rooftops. I recommended my WordPress guy to several people who have contacted him, absolutely love him, okay? Um, and he was, he thanked me, he's like, thank you for recommending people. I was like, absolutely, you're great. So if you want to know who my WordPress guy is, just follow me on Instagram. I will post his um, Facebook profile, so you'll know his name and stuff, on my Instagram stories, so you can contact him, okay? How difficult, great question. Olivia says, how difficult is it to maintain both a successful Etsy and an actual website? Depending on how many sales you get in, depending on how many products you have, depending on how complicated your process is. Guys, I have... A two Etsy shops, I have an Amazon shop, I have .com, not including what I do with you guys. I obviously have two assistants, recently hired another one, but it is a little hard to maintain depending on the things I've told you, depending on, you know, how many products you have and this, and I mean, depending on a lot of things that you're doing. 
I mean, I'm doing also email us, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. So the, the, the answer will vary, okay? Thank you, you're welcome. Not all eggs in your, yeah, not all your eggs in one basket. Now, I've, I've talked to people about this before. I said, hey, aren't, why haven't you opened Amazon yet? This is a long time ago, Facebook Live. You know, reasons why you should be on Amazon right now. Um, and a lot of people that listen to me are super grateful because they're doing fairly well on Amazon. So, same applies. Um, obviously, dot, websites are a little bit harder, what, dot coms, because you have to drive your own traffic, which we'll talk about in a second. But you don't want your eggs in all in one basket. I have an old Facebook Live um, on here that talks about how I made six figures. I said six steps to six figures. I remember that. And one of the things I talk about is having different income streams. Okay? You don't want all your eggs in one basket. You have to have different income streams. Okay? Um, I have a WooCommerce website and there's a learning curve for sure. Gina, Gina, contact me. Okay? I'll be posting on my Instagram stories, my WordPress guy. You need to talk to him. He's amazing. Great price. Doesn't have you worry a bit. Like, it's amazing. Okay? So, <laughs> thanks, thanks. Thank you, Joey, for... Oh, um, David, you're here. Good morning. Yeah, my future is bright. That's why I have to wear shades. I like that. Uh, okay. Have tried Shopify. Trouble with making listings, pages, look professional, organized drop-down boxes. I'm not sure why you would have trouble. I feel like a lot of these are user-friendly. Uh, some people have contacted me to help them build their Shopify slash WooCommerce website. Um, I thought about it because I thought it would be fun. I mean, I know exact. I mean, not that I know exactly. I, um, I mean, I'm doing shop critiques for websites very soon anyway. So, duh, I would, I would think I would know how to, you know, build one and how one should look and how to make it convert better. I just am failing to find the time at the moment. Okay, so hang tight, you know. Um, so let's. Um, okay. Okay, hold on. There's a couple more questions. Let me quickly see. To WordPress Shopify has many fees. Oh, yes. Yes. After a while, if you also use a lot of apps, it's best to move to WordPress. Okay? Because, yes, they start to build up in fees. I want to have a separate section of my site for wholesale customers. Dalia, do you or anyone else have experience with selling that up? I do not. I do not. If you have um, WordPress, I'd recommend getting in touch with my WordPress guy who could help you. Okay, so let me ask what about Wix. I tried Wix. I outgrew it very, very quickly. There was a lot of issues with Wix in the sense that they're very late on the game with certain things. You know how you're supposed to have um, a security certificate on your website? You know, um, Wix didn't have one for a very long time and didn't offer one. And eventually when they were late to the game, they offered one. It was just annoying. Um, okay, so let me get into some things, and I want to go in order, so please bear with me, and all of you guys ask questions, but I might get to your questions after. I want to go over, um, I already told you the options you have for picking a website. Now, if you have questions about the things I'm talking about, please ask. I will answer them. So I told you about the options. We talked about Squarespace, Shopify, WordPress. In that order, do you want to go if you are... Less experienced to more experienced, okay? Or if you have somebody working for you, like when I had my, when obviously my assistant right now will be soon taking over that, but my old assistant, I had her, she would work on my WordPress site, oh, putting new listings, like she would do a lot of things for me, mm -hmm. but depending on how much time you have, etc. So those are the three recommendations. Now, that's the first step. You have to build the website, but most people fall into this issue very, very quickly. They build the website and nobody's showing up. Okay, nobody's showing up. We'll talk about maintenance and all that stuff in a second, but nobody's showing up. Here's a big piece of this Facebook Live, and we're going to talk about how people, first of all, in general, how people drive traffic. And I'm going to actually give you some tips, okay, because after you drive traffic, you have to get people to convert, which is one, one um, member's concern. They feel like they're, you know, Etsy's more credible than they are, okay? So we're going to talk about that in just a second. But how do you drive traffic? So there's, a, there's obviously quite a few ways to drive traffic. You guys probably know what they are. But <clears throat> the most popular ways is Google SEO, right? Okay. Um, another popular way is email list. Email list. I love my email list, guys. Every time I send out an email, it's like Christmas. Okay. I just. It feels good. It's not like I'm. It's not like I'm so such a big deal that even if I get a sale, I don't care about it. 
I still am very excited when I get sales on my dot com because my dot com is less than a year old. Okay. So anyway, email list. That's number two. Number three, and again, there's a whole bunch more, but number three is blogging. When you blog, um, targeting your target market, you can drive traffic to your dot com, especially if your blog is on your dot com, which I would recommend if you have a blog. Number four, social media. Okay, social media. Um, this seems to be one of the harder things for people to do. I've only seen, you know, a handful or so of people actually um, do this on their own without any help and succeed at it. Um, I have not started with social media as my marketing plan. I feel like email list for me is better. I feel like somebody opted in to hear from me because they are interested in my products. I feel like every time I send out an email, I'm targeting people as opposed to a whole bunch of people that could have followed me, you know, that could be my competition, etc. So I feel like I'm better off with the emails at the moment. I might have some, you know, in 2018, some plans for social media. Um, another way to drive traffic is advertising. This is usually the last thing I recommend for people like us. When I say people like us, I mean people that are small businesses who are on a budget because advertising costs money. And there's many ways you could advertise. Facebook ads, Google ads, I mean, you name it. There's many, many different ways. Advertising on blogs. I mean, many different ways, okay? So in a nutshell, those are the ways how you get traffic to your site. Let's talk about the, the popular ones, okay? Let's talk about Google SEO for a second. People are like, guys, teach me Google SEO. And I will, guys. I'm, guys, you don't know what the stuff I'm working on for you. You have no idea. I'm like working, working, working for you guys, okay? So a training will be coming soon, but there's some things you could do right now, okay? Well, maybe not, but there are some things. Let me, let me explain. So Google SEO, it's not simple, there are some things that are um, that are basic, but there are other things that get you to the top of search. Like Etsy, it's not just about SEO, right? It's not just about um, keyword phrases, right? It's also about other ways to optimize your website and your listings, okay? So um, I know, right? A lot of people are waiting for the Google SEO training from me. I, I'm t I'm, and I'm saying this because I care about you guys. Listen up. I'm taking my time because I'm applying it to my own website. I'm tracking, um, I know it's gonna work, but I wanna track um, progress so I could show you, look what I've done. Look what I've done with doing crap with my website and I've still gotten traffic even with the little that I've done. And then now look what I'm doing after six months of, or three months of fixing it and look at, look at it after six months. So I do seem to need some time to, um, to track results and show you that look, I'm not just showing you a webinar. And I know you guys trust me, but I still want to show you results. So that's why I'm taking my time. Anyway, I literally have training videos already recorded for the Google SEO webinar, but they're, um, they're PC, you know, like, so I'm doing it as I'm doing it for my website and recording what I'm doing. Okay. Anyway, so let's talk about Google SEO. So SEO, as far as keyword phrases, people are like, it's not like Etsy. Where do I put my keyword phrases? Okay. Here's um, a rundown. Okay. So you want to put keyword phrases in several places. Where's my little, my sheet? Okay, I'm sure I'll remember it all. So I'm gonna go through it in my mind. I hope I don't forget. Keyword phrases where Google cares about is in your URL, right? So when you type in www.etsy.com slash blah, 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 that's your URL, right? So in your URL, so you could name your URL whatever you want. And hopefully you're using keyword phrases that make sense for that product, okay? That people are searching for. Yes, I am using Yoast SEO on my WordPress site, okay? Um, so that's number one, the URL. Number two, of course, is your title, right? Your, would you call it a title? Yeah, your product title, okay? Um, that should also be used there. Now, most likely your product title will be the same as your URL. You don't have to make it the same, but most likely it will be, okay? So that's another thing. Next thing is in your... I don't know how you would call it. I call it H1, H2, but it's your heading one, heading two, heading three, all the way to number six. However, I find that you probably don't need to use up to number six. When I say heading one, heading two, heading three, and using keyword phrases in there, what I mean is, <clears throat> what I mean is, you ever write uh, an essay, and then like you have your title, and then you have like the first part, you talk about what the first part is, and then you write the paragraph. The second part, the paragraph. The first and second part are like the headings, okay? And it's kind of hard to explain without showing you, but your H1, H2, H3 tag, the headings, are should be also very keyword friendly, as well as your description, right? I already named a few things for you guys, okay? 
Now, another thing that is very popular when, when you own your own website is naming your um, images, okay, your images as keyword phrases that make sense for that product. On Etsy, it doesn't matter because they don't, um, they change your image name when you upload it. Um, not necessarily, Brittany. I don't know if there's a correlation. You know, Google's always um, changing up what makes you more relevant in Google search. However, I find that they always have the best interest in the Google user. So there are things such as, you know, loading time. If, you're, if your website loads very, very slow, you probably won't be pumped to the top of a search because it's, it's a headache for users to load. So as far as font sizes are concerned, I would definitely keep it to ones that are easy to read, not too small. Again, I don't know if uh, Google tracks this, but I'm always looking to make sure that I'm also with Google in the sense that I'm making it very user friendly for um, the, the person that's looking at my website. Okay, if you stick to that golden rule, you'll be okay. Okay, you know, in general. Okay, so we talked about URL, we talked about title, we talked about description, we talked about um, H1, H2, H3 tags. Um, there's also, if you have the Yoast SEO tool in WordPress, okay, you get to put in, what is the word? Um, I forgot the name. It's a focus keyword, okay, filling out your focus keyword. Okay, so that's in general, by the way. This is just a general um, rundown of where to put your keyword phrases. Obviously, there's a whole thing about where to find the keyword phrases from, how do I know if it's a good enough keyword phrase, what else does Google care about, etc. And that's going to be going over, I'll be going over that in my Google SEO webinar coming later. But I wanted to bring to your attention that you can still do some things with keyword phrases in general to your website, okay? And I know people, some people are waiting for the Google SEO training, and go ahead, you can wait, it's fine, because some people don't want to do it wrong and then do it again, that's fine, but... <clears throat> Google SEO is obviously one of the ways, ways to bring it. Now, let me talk about, which I love Google SEO. Let me, um, sorry, I'm just trying to open my, oh, crap. Is my internet off? Oh, crap, my internet's off. Okay, I got to figure that one out. I was going to pull up my website to talk to you about my stats. Um, I, could, I could see organic traffic versus uh, traffic I drive to myself, which is um, my email list, etc. Um, and it's doing pretty good, but... Maybe another time I can show you because my internet is not on for some reason. I have to check my box. Anyway, so Google SEO, I love it. Now let's move on to email list. Now some of you in here understand the importance of an email list. There's 53 people on this call, okay? Speak up. Who does not understand the importance of an email list? Who has not had have one yet? Who is not sure about one? Who is, um, you know, scared to start one? Whatever it is, who are you? And talk to me about why. Um, because I have started my email several years ago. It took a while to build, I'll say that, and there are times I want to give up because I'm like, what the hell am I doing this for? Um, but now I'm reaching a point, I'm always still growing it, but now I'm reaching a point when I do send emails out, and this has been for a while now, that I, um, I get money. Isn't that freaking cool? And I've talked about it in other Facebook Lives before, guys, where I, um, actually it was about email lists, and I said to you, and I showed you my stats. I literally took my phone and showed you my stats. I said, look, I sent out an email, this, whatever, and look at the money I made already. Sometimes I get 800, 1,000, 1,200, you know, and, and of course, as I build my list more and I send out an email, I will probably convert more people and make more money. Um, I have one, just no one's on it. You have to, Terry, you have to work on building that list, right? So you have one, but nobody's on it. You have to work on your opt-in offer. You have to work on where you're placing your opt-in offer. Terry, do you have my email list webinar? If you do, please relook at it and really um, go to those sections and say, okay, did I do everything that Dahlia told me to? Okay. Joanna says, I have one, but struggle getting it going. I'm going to put a photo in Etsy on each, yes, listing, pointing people to sign up for the email list. Okay, do it. Description, exactly. I'm opening a website. So this will help. For by the way, I'm, I'm, I, I forget to mention, if you're kind of new around here and don't know, and you're like, I'm interested in email lists, I don't know how to build one. Guys, I have a webinar. I have a webinar, and it's on thehandmademastermind.com. Go to courses and you'll see it, okay? If you're interested in it and you're really, if you're really serious about building an email list and marketing, etc., I recommend 
the webinar. I told you guys from the beginning, I told you I'm going to be honest. It's not about me pushing a course to you. It's never been about that. But if you want the help, the help is there. Okay? And it's an easy, step-by-step, easy-to-understand course format. And if you want to really buy it and you're like, ah, oh, money's tight, there's a payment plan. There's literally no excuses unless you want to make your own excuses. Then I can't help you, you know? And of course, I have a few Facebook Lives on email list, and that could help you get started. But if you're really, really serious, I want to kick it in the butt, get the, get the course. It's just for people that are waiting, I don't know, yeah, you know, I just, I want to wait till, you know, black moon or something. It's, you have to first recognize that you are, um, you are in the way of yourself. I'll be honest. If I've never started my email list or if I prevented myself because I got discouraged, I just imagine I wouldn't be making the money I'd make now on my dot com. And it's it's fairly good money, I'll tell you. It's fairly good money. So and I, I plan on building it more. I have some things in place. You know, like last year I did my email list but it wasn't consistent. This year I I'm consistently doing not my email list, but sending out and marketing and things like that. It's been successful. You know, even when I my last email to my customer, sorry, my allergies, I didn't take my allergy medicine yesterday, so my nose is itchy. When I, emailed, when I sent out an email last month to my customers, I was worried about the type of promotion I did. It's a very new promotion. It's not one that I feel like will bring in a whole bunch of customers, but I want to try it. I actually was pretty successful. So I was okay with it. I didn't know how to get started, or maybe I'm intimidated to get started. Eva, Eva, Eva. I talked about getting started in a few Facebook Lives. Please go check them out. If you go to this group and hit videos, you could skim through the videos, put your mouse over the video, and see which ones talk about the email list. Okay, they're kind of grouped together. Uh, that will help you get started. But if you really want really great step-by-step -step training, the email list webinar is the way to go. It's as simple as that. Okay, Erica says, haven't figured out how to have a pop-up box on Shopify collect um, emails. Um, I am not familiar with the email um, building, whatever, apps on Shopify, so I can't answer that for you. I'm sure there's something, though. I'm very sure there's something. Okay, so I sent out an email to my list. Awesome, Stacey. Um, last night, and got to sell within 30 minutes. I love it. And depending how big your list is, okay, we're going to move over email list in just a second. But depending on how big your list is, you obviously may get more sales. So it's the same thing as conversions on Etsy. If you get 100 views and you get one sale, that's 1% conversion. Same thing happens on an um, email list. The more people open your email more people will buy because it's about conversions okay okay no I have been in business um, for a month oh okay I don't have one I'm overwhelmed with other things I eventually want one here's the thing and I'm gonna say this and I'm gonna mean it okay I always mean everything I say but just still Erica says I, I don't have one I'm currently overwhelmed with everything I'm doing I'm overwhelmed me Dahlia so am I with what I'm doing and I eventually want one here's a mistake Erica's making I'll be honest Erica I'm gonna call you out here's a mistake you're making most people feel like they don't have time for one, right? And you probably don't. And I'm not going to talk about how much money you can make in the future, so you should make time for it. I'm not going to talk about that. What I'm going to talk about is with the email list, it's not, it's not like other things where you can make sales probably instantly when you first start one. If Erica decided, no, I'm not going to listen to myself and I'm going to start one, I recommend it because Erica needs time to build that list. Erica's not going to have you know, 200, 300, 500 subscribers overnight. So if she, when the time she decides to eventually start one, it's never going to be too late, but she's going to wish she started months ago because if she started, if she starts six months from now, she could have six months worth of people signed up for her email list and she could have easily started marketing to them. Okay. Even if she's inconsistent right now, let's say she only emails them once every two months, which is fine. There was a, there was a moment in time where I haven't emailed my customers in several, several months. I pick right back up and guess what? Ever since then, each month I send out one email each, I've been making sales. They didn't care that they didn't hear from me for a while, but now I'm consistent. Point is, start now. But all I'm asking you to do is nothing crazy. All I'm asking you to do is create an opt-in form. Set up your opt-in graphics everywhere so people could sign up. And that's it. Just have people sign up. That is actually the easier part of the training. The other part of the training is actually marketing stuff. Obviously, it's a more harder part. I just want you to start. Get people on your list. There's no excuse for you to tell me that. Now, people that have started that have nothing going on except just starting, I'm proud of you because later on you'll find that when you have 
100, 200 people on your list and you're ready to kind of give it a shot, at least you have some people to market to, some people to make money from. And this is true. You can't start an email list today and make money from it tomorrow. You need time to build your list, okay? I don't have one because I don't have a website. You don't need a website, Natalie. Let me, let me explain. You could, I had my email list before I had my website. I had driven the traffic to Etsy, okay? Then when I decided to open my website, I did a grand opening sale. Uh, my sale, just for the record, was um, double your order for free. So if you bought three stationary sets from me, you got six instead, okay? It was a really good offer. People were, like, all over it. It was a grand opening sale. And, um, and, it, and the purpose of it was to get people to come to my .com and know that's where I am now. And it worked. I have repeat customers there. It's, like, amazing. Like, guys, did you hear what I just said? I have repeat customers on my .com already. Granted, I figured this out, like, two months ago, even though the person was a repeat, or the, the, it was three people that I recognized. They were repeats for a while now. I didn't know it because my .com doesn't show me repeat customers unless I, you know, unless I do something, I have to go find it, you know, anyway. So I was like, oh, wow, I have, I've had, I've had repeat customers for a while. It was awesome. Okay, so you don't need a website. Tiffany says, no email list. I'm not sure to, how to write an effective content to offer. Okay, so that is one of the most difficult things for people to do. In email list building, people tend to do it, maybe not as successfully as other people, but at least they do it. But the hardest part is actually writing things to um, market to people. If you are serious about email list building and email list marketing, for Tiffany, I'd recommend it. And for others who are like, I have no idea what to write and how to write it to make it effective and make money, get the email list webinar. Again, I don't want to sound salesy, and I'm not. I just, I'm being honest with you guys. It is literally a step. I mean, you guys could go check it out. Step by step, I go through how to build um, this email list. Um, sorry, this email uh, campaign. So an email, actually. And helping you with the content. Helping you with the type of content converts. Um, helping you. I actually, you know what I'll do? Should I do this? Yeah, I'll do this. How about I do this, guys? Since we're talking about it anyway, okay? Um, when I first rolled out the email list webinar, I offered a free um, package, a free bonus package. It's templates, templates for your emails, templates for your graphics, templates for sign-up graphics, templates for graphics inside your email. It's a whole bunch of graphics. But that was during the launch. I offered it and I took it away. I don't mind offering it for today only. Yeah, because I'm not going to be Facebook living tomorrow to remind people. So I'll do it for today only. Now, I could set it up. Let me, hold on. I'll do it. All right, I'll do it. So if you're interested in buying the email list webinar, hold on, I'm trying to, <laughs> I'm trying to see it. Um, okay, there it is. Okay, if you're interested in buying the email list webinar, and you could even purchase it on payment plan you will get the bonus template course, which has a whole bunch of templates to help you even, like, I, I taught you everything to do. I literally taught you everything to do in this email list course. But now with this email list template, I actually given you pretty much pre-made templates for everything you need to make on your own. You know, graphics for inside the email, um, graphics for your opt-ins, um, templates for the actual email itself. Now, you could do it on your own, but this one actually jump starts you, so you could just go in there and change your, your details, and that's it. So I have this only for today, okay? Where is it? There it is, okay. I just published the course that has the bonus course attached to it. So if you purchase, it's today only I'm doing it, you will get the bonus templates um, with it, regardless if you purchase price in full or if you do a payment plan. You guys excited about that? Let me know. I'm not sure if I'm doing it, nobody's going to buy it, or if you're if you're interested in it. It doesn't matter either way. I'm doing it today only. I know we're talking about email lists, and we're talking about driving traffic, and that's usually one of the biggest concerns. So, um, again, I'd be happy just to offer this uh, free. It's free, obviously. It's not an additional price, but I'm offering it just a today only. This free bonus template course. It's its own package that you'll see come separately um, with all these templates, like a buttload of templates, Okay. Sorry, let me, um, Eva says, should I wait till I have a website? No. Again, you could, I mean, imagine for a second you are, have no interest in having your own website, which is kind of crazy, but nonetheless, let's imagine you have no interest. Okay. Let's just say, 
or let's say you're so freaking busy and you're about to hire an assistant in a few months, you have no time. That's absolutely fine. I would still want you to build that list. Because when you have a website like I did, when I had a website, guys, I had hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. How much do I have now? I forget. Um, probably in the thousands now, but of people on my list. So I'm ready to like send an email out and I have people coming to my website. And in the meantime, Eva, and for everybody else, you could have people um, come to your Etsy. I, I did it. It's okay. What's the problem? It's money free in your pocket. Yeah, it takes a small fee. Who cares? It's money in your pocket, you know? Are we allowed to advertise this email list on Etsy and Amazon? Amazon, no. They're very strict about these things. Um, Etsy, you are. Etsy, you are. Um, that's, so that's not an issue. Sorry, my hair is wild today. And the mail list webinar is excellent. It's very easy to get started. Thank you, Marion. Yes, it is. If I don't say so myself, it is broken down. You guys could actually see what's in the course before you purchase it. It is broken down to help you answer all your questions that you would ever need to know on email list building and email list marketing. It's, if I don't say so myself, it's amazing. Okay. Um, let me see here. Okay. I use kit and I will send a generic email to past customers showing new products. Should I do a customized one? I'm not sure if I understand your question, Brittany. Should I give it a past customer showing new products? Are they on your email list? Is that what you're saying? Stephanie, I can give you a rundown right now of what the content of the email should be, okay? I go, it, I go into it much deeper in my email list webinar, but in general, the content of your email should be, because um, we remember, we're e-commerce businesses. Uh, most likely, the most popular ones are new arrivals, okay? Sales in every different form. So sales we have different for um, holidays throughout the year and sales for... Um, I don't know what you're selling, but if you have a certain market that works throughout the year, like back to school items for me, if you're in wedding, back, you know, wedding season, things like that. And even um, showing new arrivals during these times where people are, have their wallets out. So Christmas time, people have their wallets out, even if you don't have a sale. Um, you know what I'm saying? So limited time offers is usually always really good. Um, and then another piece of it is, depending again what you sell, you may offer value to the customer, meaning um, blog posts or things that will help them. So there's a member in here, I'm not sure if she's on right now. Um, I won't talk about what she sells, but she sells things that really work well with informational products as well. Not only does she sell the product, but her target market, her email list really appreciates when she emails them informational stuff as well. If that's you, that's also another thing. That in a nutshell, Stephanie, is what you should be emailing your customers. But in my email list webinar, I walk through exactly what that is, exactly what they should include so you actually convert people. Because you don't want to just send out emails at 20% off. Here you go. You want them to actually buy, right? Conversion. Um, and you want to set up the email so it's user-friendly and get them to buy. So, so there's a little bit more to it. And that's why I highly recommend this email list webinar. If, and I say this again, if you're serious about email list building, guys, I can make easily a thousand to two or three thousand in an email I send. I'll be honest. And I've showed, I showed you guys before, um, if you're new around here, you have to look at my previous Facebook lives. I think I talked about the email list and I actually showed you my screen and showed you how much money I made. Okay, so it's a serious thing. And I don't have thousands, thousands of people on my email list yet, just FYI, I'm still growing it. But I definitely have a good amount because I built it for a while. What time is it? Okay. Have try having a pop up offer on Shopify. Okay. Okay. On Shopify, I'm using the better coupon box. Okay. Can I offer twenty percent off, but on a certain amount or more? So, so for me, yes. I on my WordPress site, I'm able to do a certain coupon. A very, it's a very smart coupon app. That allows me to do 20% off on a certain amount or more. So I've done that before. I say, hey, you get 20% off on your purchase of $25 or more, right? So you could do that. On Etsy, you cannot. Well, you can tell them that, but they may be able to purchase it without having hitting the minimum, okay? So if you have your own .com or Shopify, I'm sure there are apps for coupons that allow you to do smart things like that, Okay. So Anne puts up a good question, and I want to move over the past this email list talk very soon because I want, I want to talk about other things. He, um, Anne says, I've heard that pop-up on your site aren't good. Google doesn't like it. Is that true? They don't like it. They told that was recently. However, you know, um, how do I say this? Um, there are certain things in your website that will hold more weight than others. 
And for example, on Etsy, when you're talking about being relevant, sales, you know, will give you a bigger boost than somebody favoriting your item. Correct? Correct. Now, we don't know the exact, of course, the exact um, formula for Google SEO and what holds more weight. But having said that, while pop-ups do, they said they affect your site, but we don't know by how much. If your site is high quality and has some other really good things going for it, it will still get you found in search. There are, there are, there are companies that have a pop-up, okay, when you first enter their website and they're in the top of search. But guess what? They're still in the top of search. Why? Because they have other great things going for them. It's almost like a listing quality score. Like on Etsy, it's the same thing on, on Google. Okay? Okay. Yes, Becky. I highly recommend it. And Becky said she's that's awesome. She's going to order it. I highly recommend it. And the, the, part, the point of the email list webinar is to pace yourself. There's a first part that helps you build the list and helps you go over strategy to build the list. And that's going to take a while. In fact, there's a member in the... We have a private Facebook group when you get into this webinar. And she only had like 10 people on her list. And go, go her. She decided, you know what? I'm still going to email them because nobody in my list knows how many people I have on my list. So they don't know that you just started your list. And she got one sale from it. Now, yes, while it doesn't sound like a lot, that's 10% conversion. She had 10 people on her list and got a sale from it. That's a sale she wouldn't have not had before. And it was only 10 people on her list. She still has ways to go to build her list, absolutely. But she wasn't scared to email them because they don't know how many people you have on your list. You could start emailing them right away or take your time. Okay, you don't have to do it immediately. Okay. Okay, hold on. I'm trying to read this. I've been thinking about trying to launch new products on a season basis, like spring, summer, fall. So I think you're right. I should start my email list. Yeah, start your email list now, Erica. I know me and Erica, by the way, me and Erica talked before I even launched the email list webinar. She told me, she's like, I don't think I'm going to get it. And she's a big fan of my webinar. So I was surprised. I was like, okay. I told me she has no time. I said, okay, I'm not going to pressure you into anything. Um, but I did recommend her to start it at least to build the list. I'm glad now that you're like, okay, at least I'm going to start it. Regardless if you get my email list webinar or not, obviously I highly recommend it for the sheer fact that it's going to really set you up for success, okay? Um, but I'm glad you're starting it because by the time you want to do these collections and new rivals and whatever, there's somebody listening to you. Your email list is the people that are listening to you, okay? Imagine, and I don't, I don't hate social media at all, but imagine posting something on social media. Hopefully you know, three out of the hundreds of people see it and they like it. And then what? Nothing. But when you have an email list, you have direct links to your products. They click on it. They do this. They get to your website. You know, it just, it could be a really great thing for you. Sorry. Exactly. You should start my email, start your email so you have somebody to market to when your new products, when they launch. I did that. I had, um, I decided to do a limited edition, um, item when I launched it and it did really well. I was so excited. And FYI, I didn't, I didn't run a sale on it. So literally, I sent an email without a sale in it. I just said, look, new design. Okay? I literally had one design. My, um, my uh, friend, I, I talked to my friend about it. I said, what do you think about only one design? She, she advised against it. And yes, I may try it another, another time again and having three different designs. But I didn't even run a sale on it. And people bought it. It was amazing. Um, Sarah says, I don't have a website yet. But I've gotten... But I've got, sorry, 900 people on my email list. Perfect. And send them to my Etsy shop with special sales. They look forward to my exclusive coupons and I get lots of repeat customers. Awesome. Yeah, and when you eventually get a website, you have people that you have a, she has 900 people. Imagine in the future she has 1,000, 2,000. Who knows when she's at her website? And now she can take those people and bring them there. It's amazing. And you can definitely train them to go to your .com. It's easy. Yes, when they place the order or create a profile on my site. Oh, okay, yes, I got it. I understand. Have flash sales worked via email? Like short results? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. I highly recommend it. When you send out an email, I like limited times. Um, limited times are usually the best things, and that's usually a flash sale. So absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, I, I actually don't recommend you not putting, like, you have to put a time limit. In fact, I prefer a time limit that's not so broad, um, so then people could act quickly. So I'm trying to read this while I'm bending down. <laughs> I didn't realize I could ask my Etsy customers to join my email list. I'm going to start one today. Here's the thing, guys. Let me make something very clear. When you ask your Etsy customers to join your email list, the coupon code you give them has to be for Etsy, okay? But when you email them in the future, you can direct them to your .com, okay? Just want to let you know, I looked into getting your email webinar, but does it offer me the payment plan for some reason? Let me take a look. I could be wrong. I can set it up if I didn't do it correctly. Hold on.
So I want to make sure everybody has that option. It should be there, but one second. Pricing. Oh yeah, where did it go? <laughs> okay, so let me um, go ahead and put that payment plan in. Sorry, I'm trying to like read with my sunglasses on. Okay, hold on. Let me get... Hold on a second. I'm breaking up the payments with my calculator. Uh, do you guys want three payments or four payments? What do you guys think? Okay, hold on a second. I'm going to do both options, three and four payments, just in case people want that. Um, so let me get that set up right now. Um, email list webinar. Okay, and then I'm going to do the three payment, um, sorry, four payment one. Okay. Four payments. Okay. Give me one second. I'm adding the pricing. Perfect. Okay, the pricing should be updated. Sorry about that, guys. Um, you have the option of three monthly payments or four monthly payments. Um, I shop from the email list I subscribe to multiple times a week. And some people tell me that they actually don't. But I did make a point before that if you're deciding that, oh, I don't even shop from email list. Why, why would I bother? Um, it depends on when you're in the market for something. When I send out an email to my hundreds and hundreds of subscribers, whatever I have, thousands, um, not everyone's going to buy something because they're not in the market for something at the moment. I told you the example before that I am in the market right now for buying children's clothing because my daughter is about to go overseas and they have to look really great. So having said that, I'm currently in the market for children's clothing. So I'm opening emails from children's clothing vendors. Otherwise, unless it's back to school, right, or picture day, I might not open those emails. So just understand that, yes, you're not going to always open emails when you get from other companies, but sometimes you will depending on your needs, Okay. As far as emails, hi Melanie, I'm not someone that could sit down and just write because of that I worry spending more time money when the main issue is I don't know what to say. Listen, Melanie, I got you covered. Everybody got you covered. I have literally set up this, this webinar to tell you the, the several things you should say. I give you, I think, I'm going to say five or six, I forget, things you could actually email them, okay? The type of, the type of discounts they should email them. And then I tell you what you should include in the emails when you want to do a discount, okay? I even, in this case, I'm doing this day sale only where I'm giving you the additional bonus templates. I set up the templates for you so you could get started. So while you don't have any clue to say what to say, I kind of give you some heads up earlier about what type of, you know, discounts and things like that. But I literally have written in a section of the webinar, let me go to the curriculum and read it. This, this webinar is jam-packed, guys. If you could see the curriculum, it's jam-packed. So it'll, it'll cover everything. So one, one of the sections say, how often should you email and what should you say? So I go over things in there. I talk about subject lines, which are really important, another video. And then what every email should include for results. That's another section, okay? So I really have broken it down for you so there's no wondering. And that's why I'm recommending the webinar. So if you really need your hand held and want to do it, that's that. Let me let me move on um, because I've been talking about emails for a while and I want to go over to other things that drive traffic and then kind of wrap this whole website thing up. We kind of go off on a tangent, but it's just, you know, how it is. Um, we talked about blogging um, and a few other things and I don't recommend advertising just yet for people, but blogging is a free way, technically free way, to drive targeted traffic to um, your website. And obviously you could even market your blog to your email list, but um, if you are blogging about things, and I, by the way, I talked about it in a Facebook Live, what you should blog about as e-commerce businesses, so you have to look at that Facebook Live. Um, I talked about it, and you could high-value blog posts to help drive in your traffic to your .com, okay? So that's another way. 
Now, after you decide to drive this traffic, however you decide to drive it, you have to convert the people that come on there, okay? So your website should be set up in a way that is very easy to use, user-friendly, doesn't leave people asking questions, etc. So that's why I'm deciding to offer these shop critiques coming soon, by the way, toward the end of this month. And you will be able to, if you have a .com, sign up for one for your .com. And although people are interested, which is great, I'll have one for, obviously, your Etsy shop, your .com, and Amazon. You can pick which one everyone you want. But you really have to think about the user experience when they enter your site. Somebody mentioned earlier that they scared that they're not credible enough. So is somebody going to actually buy from them? Well, first of all, does it look professional? That's the biggest thing that comes off. And if it doesn't look professional, it may not get you as many sales as you want. And number two, is it user-friendly? And user-friendly really breaks down to several different categories. Um, that's what I'll be going over in the shop critique. But that's what you really have to take away. Um, are those both things a professional? Easy to use? Is it um, you know, easy to navigate? Okay? Let me see if these comments. Okay, somebody asked, what format, what format are the graphics in? Fantastic question. The graphics are all on canva.com. I did that because it's free. It's easy for people to use. And it's easy for you to load. So when you um, go to the templates, you could it tells you instructions on how to use a template. And then you could easily just load your own copy and work with it right there. So because you don't need Photoshop, you don't need anything like that, you could use it on Canva. Okay, especially for those people who are newer. Now, if you're a little bit more experienced, you don't have to use my templates. You could use Photoshop, you use whatever you want to use and actually make your own. Okay? So, um, people don't read much. Usually short and sweet is better for me in the graphics and the graphics. I drink my drink. Don't feel silly and dumb. Don't feel silly and dumb, Tiffany. What format of the graphics? I already answered that. Yeah, love Canva. Canva is the best. Yeah, you're right. So, um, so yeah, if you're interested, again, today only is... Um, <clears throat> I'll be offering the free template package um, that has all the templates in it um, for graphics for signing up, opting in, um, graphics for your email. I mean, there's, there's a, quite a few different things in there. Now, let me um, wrap this up by um, talking about, I mentioned my WordPress guy as far as maintaining. You could definitely hire a virtual assistant if you wanted to, to help you maintain or add on or whatever your other sites, regardless if it's WordPress or Shopify or whatever. And obviously that takes a while to find somebody. <clears throat> if I could recommend somebody else, I would, but I, I would, um, <clears throat> excuse me. If you have WordPress, my guy is it. I get nothing. I get nothing extra for recommending him. Literally nothing. He doesn't even give me discounts on <laughs> on my future services with him. I don't. I don't ask for it. I don't care. He's just fantastic and he's well priced. So if you want something for WordPress, check out my Instagram stories feed in a little bit. You'll see that I'm going to post his information um, or just message me directly if you miss it. Um, so that's that. Now we talked about which website platform you should build on. We talked about driving traffic to it. We 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 kind of touched on conversions in the sense that you have to be a trustworthy site and etc. Right? Which again, that will be much more I'll go into it much more if you get, obviously get a shop critique, which will be coming toward the end of the month, okay? Um, <clears throat> so after you converted people, etc., I mean, that's usually the biggest concerns for people, the things I already talked about, okay? So let me wrap this Facebook Live up with a couple of things you guys should know. Tomorrow, I am off. I'm doing a few different things for work, and then I'm off for the rest of the day. Um, oh, awesome, Melanie. You're going to love it. You're absolutely going to love it, Melanie. Um, so... Tomorrow, also, I won't be doing Facebook Live. That's number one. Number two, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday is, I didn't announce it yet, but I wanted to make sure I was done, the SEO webinar relaunch date. Yes, it's true. So that means I'll be doing a special offer on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So hang tight, okay, until Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. If you already have the webinar, great. You'll get the upgrade immediately. No problem. Don't worry about it. Um... But if you don't and you're interested, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday is the days to buy it because I'm doing a special offer during that time. It has literally taken people, by the way, by the way, I love that people love the SEO webinars, but it's really the most popular webinar to date, mostly because it, what it does um, and also has been around for the longest. But the way it was, and you, I think you guys will agree, while it's awesome, it really needed some work to be broken down to sections. My webinar is currently now, I've learned a lot. I've broken down to sections where it's easier to understand and easier to follow. 
so you don't have to watch this hour long video. So I've broken down the sections. It is amazing. Okay. If I don't say so myself, it is amazing. People love the SEO webinar currently. Okay. And I'm kind of, to be honest with you, while the information is great, I'm kind of embarrassed by it, by it because I feel like it could be broken down and be much more professional. I have done just that. It's easier to understand. I literally put it on steroids. So somebody wrote, yeah, yeah I've been waiting for my redo for this. Yes. I mean, yes, people have been waiting for the redo of the SEO webinar, just kind of fresh start and go back in it. Um, people have recently purchased it. I've told them, Hey, thank you for recently purchasing it. It's great. Hang tight. Don't do any crazy work yet. I want you to see the reverse revised version. While it's very similar to the, um, the old one, it's just, it's much better format. It's a much better format. Easier to understand. I, I really go dig deep into certain things. It's just better. Tiffany worth every penny. Absolutely. So the, the, the revised SEO webinar, SEO webinar 3.0 will be launched on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, three days only. Um, you'll get the special, um, pricing. After that, it'll still be available, but for different pricing. Okay, so obviously if you want to get it, you want to get it then. I'll be emailing people just to remind people, just FYI. So I've been working really hard on this. You guys know I've been working for a while on this because it was due for an upgrade. Um, just for the record, the attributes section, there's one video for attribute section, that has not been put in yet. I'm waiting for Etsy to completely roll it out, the filtering option, everything, before I record that video. Um, I have done a Facebook Live on the attributes. That itself should help you enough. Um, you know, kind of get a groove for the attributes, but I won't release that part of the video until Etsy releases their part. I do my testing because that's the right thing to do. I'm not going to put a video out when they haven't finished their situation with the attributes, you know? So want to refresh my SEO. Yes. If you are also out there, want to refresh your SEO, this is absolutely a great thing. Um, if you're out there, don't have the SEO webinar and I'm not saying you have to buy it. Obviously what I'm saying is that it's the most popular webinar. It is a really great foundation for a lot of businesses. I have met people that have told them, no, you don't need the SEO webinar. I'm very honest. So what I'm going to do, not today, um, even though if you want to message me today, it's fine. But Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday, I'll be offering a special offer. But if people are out there not sure if they need it because they think their SEO is fantastic, believe me, I've met people that were fantastic. I said, you don't need it. I met people that really sucked and they thought they were fantastic. I said, I'll be honest with you, you definitely need it. And I met people that were good. I told them they didn't need it, but they still bought it and they still absolutely loved it. So I'm here to be, make sure that you, if you're unsure, make sure that you make, um, you know, a financial purchase that is right for you, you know, cause I know this costs money. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I'll be happy to chat with you guys. I'll announce it then. Um, check your shop and things like that to make sure it's the right purchase for you. Yes. I'm excited for it as well. I really worked hard on it and you'll see it. Um, I really worked hard on it and I worked my butt off. And it was due for an upgrade, but, and as you guys know, any webinar you buy from me, any webinar, when upgrades happens, you'll get, you get free, like access to the upgrades. There's people that have purchased my SEO webinar since the beginning of time. And of course, prices have gone up and it's about, you know, it's, it's gone up already. So you don't want to be stuck waiting until the last pack to get it when it's at the highest price. It's probably still not a bad deal anyway. It's still really, really worth it, even at the higher price, but just know you'll always get free upgrades. I'm always going to take care of you as long as I'm alive. Um, mm -hmm. as far as SEO webinar updates and as far as SEO updates. Okay. Mm -hmm. That applies to any other webinars, by the way. And the SEO webinars are really cool because it also has a private group, private Facebook group. We only talk about SEO. So of course it's not as active as maybe a regular general group and that's fine. It's only about SEO. Okay. Okay. Is the, un is the upgrade unlocked on Monday for current users? Yes. In fact, actually, because I feel like doing it, I'm probably going to unlock it for you today. Hold on a second. I'm trying to find, it's very hard to see with my glasses on. Um, where are we here? Okay. There it is. So, um, hold on a second. Um, I will be unlocking it today for you. So give me a little time, about an hour. And I will be um, unlocking it for you um, so you guys can get it before anybody else gets it on Monday. Okay. I have to fix the pricing here to give to fix the pricing plans. Um, I need a bundle for all the webinars. I want to get SEO target market critique. You know, Gabby, I was thinking of doing that. I was thinking of doing that. <laughs> I have to see how the bundles will be. I just don't know. I have to just do some things on my website because I don't mind offering bundles. 
but I have to do some things to make it um, make it work correctly, if that makes sense. But um, either way, um, I'll get back to you on that, Gabby, I promise. I'll get back to you on Monday with that. Um, I am launching this on Monday, but if you have the SEO currently, webinar currently, you'll have access to it sometime today. I'll announce it in the private group, which is very exciting. Monday will be the official launch um, of the revised version for people that are buying it new, okay? So I am very excited about it. It's as simple as that. There'll be payment plans as well, so don't worry. So how do you get the upgrade? Teresa, you just sign in to the current platform. You'll see it all changed up on its own, okay? You'll see it. Now, before I let you guys go, let me wrap this up, okay? So if you joined late or whatever, um, email list webinar. I just happened today just because we we're talking about it, an email list um, a way, is a great way to drive traffic to either your .com or anywhere. Um, I decided to offer the bonus templates um, as an additional bonus for you guys. Um, I decided to offer the bonus templates which will help you get started even with all the graphics, all the templates you need to get started. And that is today only. So if you purchase the email webinar tomorrow, you will not get the bonus templates. If you purchase it today, which by the way, also has payment plans, you don't have to do the payment plans. Obviously you could pay it in full if you want. Um, you will get the bonus templates. Okay, that's today only. I will send out an email to, to remind people and I'll post it today in the group just to remind people, okay? Yes, yeah, so you have to watch in the replay. A lot of great information here, Mandy. Um, and the last thing is that the SEO webinar launch, a revised launch, very exciting, is happening on Monday. Um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we're going to have a big launch party. Um, there's going to be a special offer during that time. Um, it's going to be great. You're, you're going to see. Okay? I'm late. Okay. So that is it. Again, if you're interested in buying the email list webinar, again, the special offers today only, you're going to go to the handmademastermind.com. Okay, go to courses and you'll find the email list webinar. Pick your payment plan or paid in full and boom, you'll have it. It's a maze. And that's all I have to say. Okay, guys, um, I will send out reminders later on today through email and post just to make sure nobody misses out that wants it. And that is it. I won't be here tomorrow because tomorrow we're just doing a half day. Um, so enjoy your weekend and I will see you on Monday for the SEO webinar launch party. Okay, bye.